Hello everybody, it's Tanya Williams, the author of A Child Free Happily Ever After and I am continuing my Child Free Why series and I am super, super lucky today to be talking to Shelly. Now Shelly is on the other side of the world from me, I'm sitting in Brisbane and she is over in the UK. So thank you Shelly and let me, um, let's, you know, I, I will let you introduce yourself because I'm sure you'll do a much better job than what I always do. Tell me all about yourself Shelly. Well, thank you so much for inviting me in. Uh, so I am Shelley. Uh, I am here in the UK at 7am here, so it's breakfast time. You can just see the sun starting to come through. Uh, we've even got sun here in the UK today. Uh, so yeah, Shelley, Shelley Bosworth. I am 44 years of age. I am married to, uh, I'm very fortunate, I'm married to a wonderful man called Guy. That makes it very handy. I'm married to a guy. Um, and I am self-employed uh, recently. So after 23 years in corporate life, I made the leap at the end of 2019 into self-employed life. So I'm an accredited life coach for women. So yeah, you a little bit about me. Excellent. Okay, so let's jump right into the questions. Why did you not want to have children? It's a really interesting question. So I think it was one of those I always subconsciously knew I wasn't going to have children, but I don't think there was this really definitive decision until I was actually a little bit older. Um, when I met my husband, actually, and that conversation needed to be had. Um, I am the eldest of four girls. Mm -hmm. So, and without a worries me conversation, I want to be really clear about that. Um, when I was in my early teens, my mum actually was, was ill. She's absolutely fine. She's still with us. Um, but she was ill and she was in a hospital for a period of time. So as the eldest of four girls, father working hard, I guess I started to take on a little bit of a motherly role. And as a teenager, I realised now I probably had a little bit of resentment about that. And I wonder if that started to plant some seeds. Yeah. Um, and also, four girls, dad worked hard, mum wasn't that well. Life wasn't easy, and I, what I did make a conscious decision on was probably less about children, but more about, I'm gonna have an easier life. So mm -hmm. my conscious decision was very much about my career, yeah. and actually really deciding that I was going to not struggle, I was gonna have some element of financial freedom, I was gonna work really hard, and I was gonna show the world what I could do. And that took me on that path to actually, Children don't fit in with that. I don't see where they fit for yeah. me there. This was and that felt really another decision. Yeah. On something else, and then that was the sort of like, oh, well, that actually doesn't work with what I'm actually wanting to Absol do. I was never one of those children. I was never one of those running around pushing a buggy with a doll in it. Yeah. Um, in fact, I was never. I know I never planned my wedding as a child. I think most people didn't expect to get married either. So. Um, but I, but I was always very driven, very ambitious. I was the bossy kid in the garden. <laughs> I, think, I think that was always there too. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Nothing <laughs> assertive, we like to call it. Um, so yeah, I think that, that path, it became really clear that that was the right path for me and I was really happy with that path. Yeah. And, and I just never saw children being part of that path with me. Yeah. Um, does that make sense? Yeah, it makes total sense to me. Um, now, have you faced any negative challenges because of the decision that you've made? So negative challenges either from the, you know, your friends, family, people around you, situations? Yeah, and I, when you think about this, I think it, it's easy to find negative um, and you just work them through. So I absolutely had the questions from my parents about not providing grandchildren. Uh, thankfully, I have three children who've taken that one off. Uh, three children, three sisters who've <laughs> taken that. That was a little so far. Three sisters, I promise, who, who've taken care of that for me. But I definitely had that, particularly as the eldest. So those questions kind of came first to me. Friends was probably the biggest piece. So all of my friends do have children. Yep. And so I've certainly experienced that. I guess that not fear of missing out, because I've never felt I've missed out from having children perspective. But while I was working, my friends were meeting up for play dates. While I was working, my friends were building new relationships together. And actually, I felt almost like I was being pushed out. Now, now I found my way through that. I've lost some friends along the way yeah. um, because our lives have taken different paths. But, but that's probably been the hardest piece. Yeah. Um, and, and most recent, sorry, you. No, you're right. And most recently, and this has been a real eye-opener for me, so certainly in self-employed world, there's a lot around mums in business. So there's a huge amount of targeted, targeted activity and support and network for mums in business. 
And there's always small print, or if you talk to someone, they'll say, oh, no, no, it's okay if you don't have children. It's not really just about mums, but it's saying, but there's a lot. It is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so I've had to kind of re-navigate those waters um, as well. So, yeah. That... Going back to the friend conversation, yeah. have, you, have you found that your friends, um, not sort of tried to push it onto you, but were very like, oh, but you should have kids because you'll be a good mum, and, and you had to go through all that? Or were they just accepting your decision, at, like, and that was it. My absolute closest friends were accepting of my decision because they can see my life is, you know, on a slightly different path, if you like. Yeah. But absolutely, I've had those friends have, have you know, thrown in that you'd make such a good mum, you'd make such great parents. Uh, I've had some that have gone as far as to why, why wouldn't you? Um, yeah. And some even kind of going as far as to probing whether there's an underlying other issue that I'm just not telling everyone. And yeah. No, no, this is absolutely my choice. As far as I'm aware, I so could if I want to. reason, remember, you can't just make a choice. There has to be another reason. And, and that absolutely makes feel more comfortable sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So definitely some of those questions. But as I say, you know, um, more people that don't know because people jump to an, there's an assumption, isn't there? There is absolutely assumption definitely. that that's what we do. And as women, we grow up, we have children. We get married, we have children. And, you know. and then that's why we have these conversations to try and change those assumptions and say, not everyone actually wants children. And it's okay. Yeah. And if you want them, fine. If you don't, fine. Like, there shouldn't be a right or wrong um, in this situation. That's why these conversations are really important. Yeah. Okay, so final question. What do you love most about being child-free? That's a, now, love most, that is a really difficult one. Um, <laughs> well, that's so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, to talk to you, love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't be one thing. Yeah. Because I'm really happy with, with my decision. I'm really happy with our decision. You know, my husband was on exactly the same page, so I was fortunate there. Um, what I love most uh, is the freedom that gives us. So we love to travel, we love to holiday, we work very hard for all those things. And actually we've been able to work very hard for those things and not feel any resentment about all the money that has to be paid for, whether that's childcare or all the other stuff. Yeah. Um, and, and, and having made that decision ourselves, we have no guilt around any of that. So that's absolutely what I love most about that. And I guess the other part, and this probably comes from the life coaching world, um, is that freedom it, I made my decision so and I take responsibility for my decision and I mean this in the most respectful way but but children are often used as an excuse for not doing things as well I don't have that excuse <laughs> so you're not doing something it's down to me and yeah. actually a big one for kind of go for what you want and and my decision not to have children enables me to even more go for what I want I hope that makes sense yeah um, yeah yeah, I mean, there's certainly lots of reasons why um, you know, <laughs> we love being child-free, obviously. Um, but I think the one that seems to come up all the time is, yeah, that flexibility, that freedom to be able to do whatever you, want, whatever you want and not have to worry about anything else. Just go and Yes, yeah. absolutely. Fabulous. I couldn't imagine life any other way. <laughs> well, I couldn't. I, I, and I'm sure, like me, you're surrounded by people who remind you in, in lots of ways exactly why you made your decision and, yeah. and I cannot, and to my closest friends yeah. I can say that thank you little reminder of I'm good with where I'm at thank you and I've, I've got friends with kids and friends without kids yeah Certainly most of my close friends have um children but they are also very respectful of my choice as well hence why they are still my close well, that's two way but yeah I get constant reminders when different situations happen I go oh my god yes I'm so grateful that I don't have children um, I think that's certainly come to light with all the COVID stuff, ha you know, happening where people have been homeschooling and struggling with that. It's like, well, you chose to have them. Now you have to deal with them, what comes to so, yeah. I have on many occasions said hats off to all of you, but yeah, feeling a little smug. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and watch Netflix and drink my wine. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <Not> for that. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you so much for chatting. You. Um, you know, I love having these conversations because I just think they're really important conversations. Everyone's story is different. Everyone's reasons are different. They're all valid. Um, the more we have these conversations and spread this throughout the world to say that it is okay, um, I think that's just a really important um, thing. So um, thank you very much for your time um, and for starting your day with me this morning. And a pleasure. And, um, and yeah, and, and no doubt we'll, we'll catch up again soon. Indeed. Thank you so much. Thanks, Shelley.